you guys are obviously a leader in this space, but there are other people trying to solve this in maybe similar or dissimilar ways. You've got Chainlink with CCIP or Axelar also connecting many blockchains, utilizing you know their infrastructure. So what sets you guys apart from some of the other competitors in the space? And do you guys have a specific niche of like, we do this better than them and this is kind of our go-to-market strategy? Absolutely. So I'll take this question in a few parts. Number one, I think it's important to understand the opportunity size. So it's like understand that and why there's fierce competition. And then I'll get into some of the just cold hard facts on why we're best. Number one, if you think about the opportunity size here, so I like to compare us to Swift, first of all, because the main benefit of interoperability and kind of the main product market fit for a blockchain in general is an alternate financial system. So what does that mean? For us in particular, we're going to move money. We move a lot of money between a lot of different blockchains. It's tens of hundreds of millions on a regular basis, 24 hour weekly basis. So if you have all of these blockchains and we're going to have more maybe, or there's more adoption there, it benefits everyone to have a consolidation actually of the way in which this money moves. So if you think about it, Swift is like one entity and it's, I, I think they're connected to tens of thousands of banks internationally. And that's because it's less you know adoption for these blockchains uh, less token or financial standards they have to adhere to if builders want to build things with our interop technology it's less again less standards you know overhead etc so it benefits everyone to have fewer and if you have all these all these blockchains and just a few of the rails that means you have a lot of pricing power and network effects so there's been a kind of a strong consolidation to just a few players and you named some Jacob around, you know, the chain links, the axlars of the world, us. I think now maybe where we kind of do really well is a few areas. Number one is just straight up the metrics. We have the most messages or data packets ever sent, which is a good proxy for activity. We've done the most uh, volume between chains. So, you know, in the 60s of billions. And then um, where I think we're really, really unique is our institutional adoption. So I think with crypto, one thing you have to be is discernful, right? So you have to have be able to see, okay, there's a lot of marketing, what actually is happening on chain. I think where Wormhole does a really good job is we work with Biddle exclusively. Biddle uses Wormhole to settle between chains. Biddle is BlackRock's flagship money market fund. This is the same for Apollo, their private credit fund, Vanek, their money market fund, uh, Mercado Bitcoin's tokenized assets. We just announced Hamilton Lane. That's a $935 billion asset manager. They are all issuing assets on chain. And wormhole is effectively how they're able to move between the chains. And so we kind of, because we're leading on the metric side and, you know, without getting too technical, leading on the security front, institutions care about security. Yeah. We've seen those tailwinds go into our institutional business 